been doing? What are you hoping Why to accomplish? Why even bother trying? You keep when you at? know you're only what if going you make to fall in the end. What if? Does what if? Really what if? Does it really even matter? Why don't you take Do care you of yourself more? Do you really even matter? Why are you so selfish? <laughs> Nothing Would you I do is working. Would I you astray? You know that, I'm right? I'm only trying to help you after Why all. Why don't you just Stop give it up Sadie. now? <laughs> I'm telling Spare you the truth. Spare your breath. <laughs> do they need, really need to get out? How did this just spiral? I can't. What if you make this? Oh, he's down. He's down. He's down. I don't know where I am. Why My thoughts are, so are growing and the room, the room is spinning. I'm not moving. I'm not moving. I know what's best for you. This isn't real. This isn't real. This isn't real. This isn't real. I know you better than anyone else. Stop it! After all, I am you. Get out of my head. Get the hell out of my head. Why can't you see that I'm just trying to open your eyes? I just want you to see things as they are. I'm nothing like you say, I'm not like that. Everything you say is lies. It's all just a bunch of lies. Are you so sure of that, Sadie? I... I... That's exactly what I thought. Now, why don't you do us all a favor and listen to me, Sadie? Sadie. Come on, Sadie. Sadie. Sadie, can you hear me? Let me go. Hey, hey, calm down. Calm down. It's just us, okay? It's okay. We've got you. I promise. <laughs> just wish she would let me go. and desires, many let their fear of failure get in the way of achieving their dreams. However, some decide to embrace that uncertainty, despite the loud voices telling them it's impossible. One such creator is Annika Ignazi, a Pittsburgh-based fashion designer and artist. My name is Annika Ignazi, um, and I'm the designer and owner of Oh Baby. I'm 21 years old, and to tell you a little bit about Oh Baby, um, I hand paint each piece. Sometimes I paint directly on the clothing item or sometimes I paint on canvas and then I sew it on with my sewing machine. Or I rework the item, sometimes cut it apart, put it back together. Every piece is unique. I decided to learn more about why she chose to take this path and ask about the trials and tribulations she went through to get to this point. When I first started this, um, even like before I sold anything, I made a website, um, I made an Instagram, I shared on Facebook, so I just tried to share everywhere. And then by chance, I, I found this market in the Strip District, which really helped because just meeting people in person is so important and they get to try on the clothes. Um, so yeah, having like a physical location too was a really big thing and helped me grow like fast. The most challenging thing is I work all the time. Like I haven't had a weekend off in a year and a half.